Email marketing is one of the most effective marketing strategy for small businesses. When used right, it can be both relationship building and profit building. Hi, I'm Nina from Localine, and here are eight ways to sell more with email marketing. Number one, make it easy. To be successful in the long run, you want to build a strong email list. Have sign-up forms everywhere. And I mean everywhere. When people land on your website, you want multiple ways for them to join, whether that's a pop-up form that comes up or a button or scroll down form. It should be really easy for a prospect to find it. In saying that, you should also have the same link to join your email newsletter on your social media channel and on your online store. Also, make sure that you're inviting your existing customer list to join your email list. Number two, create a schedule. It's up to you to define what's realistic for you, whether that's to have an email that goes out weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Whatever it is, whatever makes sense for your business, be sure to be consistent and to make that schedule. Say, every Thursday at 9 a.m., I'm sending out that email newsletter. Research shows that Tuesdays are actually the best day to send out newsletters. Might not be true for your business, so test it out to see if it works first, but it could be a great place to start. Personalize it. A good email is timely, relevant, and sounds like it's coming from you. You want to make sure that your readers know that that email is coming from you. Bring a bit of your personality into it. Additionally, on the other way, you also want the email to feel personal for the person receiving it. So if you use an email management software tool like ConvertKit or MailChimp or SendInBlue, they often have the option to add personalization tokens to your emails. So that means that when someone signs up for your email list, they probably provide their first name, their last name, their email, maybe some other information. When you write an email, you can actually add that personalization token to the email. So instead of it reading, hey there, it could read, hi, their first name, hey, their first name. That's a great way to personalize it. You could also think about segmenting your list. So um, if you know that you have a bunch of new email newsletter signups that maybe aren't purchasing yet on your online store, you can segment them as new customers and maybe you have long-term loyal customers and they can have a different list. And you could personalize those emails for those different lists. You could also send emails to follow up on re recent purchases, uh, start a loyalty program. So if you notice someone has purchased from your online store five times, maybe on the sixth time they get a discount or a special gift. Or you could also personalize your emails by sending out um, holiday cards or call it holiday emails, uh, birthday emails, special occasion. Optimize your email structure. So believe it or not, emails have structures. So there's three main components to look at. The first is what we call above the fold. So this is all the copy or text or images that they see before they have to scroll down. Next is below the fold. So that's all of the rest of the copy that shows after they've scrolled. And finally is the footer, which is the bottom part of the email. In the above the fold section, you want to have the most important information. You really want to capture your reader. Below the fold, any additional information and your CTA. And in your footer, you want to have um, your social channels, uh, maybe some buttons to shop your online store, a bit of information like your address, your um, phone number. And normally your footer stays the same for all of your emails. Get visual. Play around with different fonts, colors, images on your email to really make it pop and have people read more write a creative subject line. So your subject line is a very important part of your email marketing. It's essentially the only text that someone sees in their inbox before they click on your email. And it's a great way to actually convince them to click on your email. So playing around with creative subject lines is important because it might increase or decrease your open rate based on what it is. To write a creative subject line, we like to use this acronym SPUNK. The S stands for scarcity. Only a few left. Click now before you miss out. P, personalize it. So like I mentioned before, maybe you could even use those personalization tokens in the email itself, or you could uh, call out a certain neighborhood, county, region, so that they know that you're talking to them. Or 
You could even add um, another type of personalization tag like, hey dog lovers, hey nature lovers, something that someone would identify with. Oh, hey, that's me, this email is for me. You, urgency, you really want people to be convinced that they need to click on it now. N, numbers and lists, buy one, get one free, uh, the best five vegetables for your summer barbecue, and lastly, C, curiosity. This is where you can get a bit creative. Um, did you know this truth? Have you ever heard this fact? Um, here are five ways to make your vegetables last longer. Whatever that is, kind of playing around with um, certain statements that create curiosity in the reader. Include call to actions throughout. So a call to action is really important. It's what action you want your customer to take from that marketing campaign. So whether the goal of your email newsletter is to inform people of what's new in the store and to get their orders on, you really wanna make sure that that is visible, apparent, and easy to find in your email. Other CTAs that aren't just shop your online store could be follow us on Instagram, leave a review, share this with a friend, join our referral program, read this blog post, sign up for an event. And finally, you wanna write persuasive copy. What is in it for your customers? What do you want them to do at the end of this email? And make sure that the way you write the email will convince someone to take that action. When writing your copy, think to yourself, what do I want my customers to get out of this email? What action do I want them to take? And be sure that when you're writing that copy, you're pivoting them towards that action. At Local Line, we strive to create content to help farmers become creative marketers, salespeople, and customer service experts. If you want to stay up to date with our content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified for any new videos. Thanks for watching.